Listen and practice. Exercise 1. Hi, I'm Mark. I'm in Alice's class, and I have the same assignment. At first, I didn't know what topic to do research on, but I found Alice in the library and talked to her. She gave me some good ideas to think about. I'll let you know tomorrow what I decide to do research on. Hi, I'm Mark. I'm in Alice's class. Hi, I'm Mark. I'm in Alice's class. Hi, I'm Mark. I'm in Alice's class. And I have the same assignment. And I have the same assignment. And I have the same assignment. At first, I didn't know what topic to do research on. At first, I didn't know what topic to do research on. At first, I didn't know what topic to do research on. But I found Alice in the library and talked to her. But I found Alice in the library and talked to her. But I found Alice in the library and talked to her. She gave me some good ideas to think about. She gave me some good ideas to think about. She gave me some good ideas to think about. I'll let you know tomorrow what I decide to do research on. I'll let you know tomorrow what I decide to do research on. I'll let you know tomorrow what I decide to do research on. Hi, I'm Mark. I'm in Alice's class, and I have the same assignment. At first, I didn't know what topic to do research on, but I found Alice in the library and talked to her. She gave me some good ideas to think about. I'll let you know tomorrow what I decide to do research on. Hi, I'm Mark. I'm in Alice's class, and I have the same assignment. At first, I didn't know what topic to do research on, but I found Alice in the library and talked to her. She gave me some good ideas to think about. I'll let you know tomorrow what I decide to do research on. Exercise 2 Then one day, in June of 1875, Watson, who was downstairs, heard Bell's voice from the attic. Mr. Watson, please come here. I want you. Watson was so excited that he ran upstairs crying, I heard you, Mr. Bell. I heard you clearly. On that day, the telephone had been invented. The words Bell spoke to Watson was the first telephone message ever sent. Bell and Watson continued to work to improve the telephone. The first long-distance, two-way telephone conversation took place later that same year. It was between Boston and Cambridge, Massachusetts, a distance of two miles. In 1877, a telephone company was formed. The first telephone exchange was opened the next year in New Haven, Connecticut. It had eight lines and 21 telephones. From that time, 
telephone systems grew fast. Two years later, there were over 47,000 telephones in the United States. The telephone spread rapidly, both here and in Europe. Bell lived to see millions of telephones used all over the world. He had the joy of speaking from coast to coast by telephone. He died shortly before telephone service across the ocean was established. His invention brought him wealth and great honors. He was given many medals and honorary degrees. His invention has often been called one of America's greatest gifts to the world. When Alexander Graham Bell died on August 2, 1922, all the telephones in the United States were silent for one minute in memory of a great man. Then one day, in June of 1875, Watson, who was downstairs, heard Bell's voice from the attic. Then one day, in June of 1875, Watson, who was downstairs, heard Bell's voice from the attic. Mr. Watson, please come here. I want you. Mr. Watson, please come here. I want you. Watson was so excited that he ran upstairs crying. I heard you, Mr. Bell. I heard you clearly. Watson was so excited that he ran upstairs crying. I heard you, Mr. Bell. I heard you clearly. On that day, the telephone had been invented. On that day, the telephone had been invented. The words Bell spoke to Watson was the first telephone message ever sent. The words Bell spoke to Watson was the first telephone message ever sent. Bell and Watson continued to work to improve the telephone. Bell and Watson continued to work to improve the telephone. The first long-distance, two-way telephone conversation took place later that same year. The first long-distance, two-way telephone conversation took place later that same year. It was between Boston and Cambridge, Massachusetts, a distance of two miles.
it was between Boston and Cambridge, Massachusetts, a distance of two miles. In 1877, a telephone company was formed. In 1877, a telephone company was formed. The first telephone exchange was opened the next year in New Haven, Connecticut. The first telephone exchange was opened the next year in New Haven, Connecticut. It had eight lines and 21 telephones. It had eight lines and 21 telephones. From that time, telephone systems grew fast. From that time, telephone systems grew fast. Two years later, there were over 47,000 telephones in the United States. Two years later, there were over 47,000 telephones in the United States. The telephone spread rapidly, both here and in Europe. The telephone spread rapidly, both here and in Europe. Bell lived to see millions of telephones used all over the world. Bell lived to see millions of telephones used all over the world. He had the joy of speaking from coast to coast by telephone. He had the joy of speaking from coast to coast by telephone. He died shortly before telephone service across the ocean was established. He died shortly before telephone service across the ocean was established. His invention brought him wealth and great honors. His invention brought him wealth and great honors. He was given many medals and honorary degrees. He was given many medals and honorary degrees.
His invention has often been called one of America's greatest gifts to the world. His invention has often been called one of America's greatest gifts to the world. When Alexander Graham Bell died on August 2, 1922, When Alexander Graham Bell died on August 2, 1922, all the telephones in the United States were silent for one minute in memory of a great man. All the telephones in the United States were silent for one minute in memory of a great man. Listen and practice. Inventor of the telephone. Then one day in June of 1875, Watson, who was downstairs, heard Bell's voice from the attic. Mr. Watson, please come here. I want you. Watson was so excited that he ran upstairs crying. I heard you, Mr. Bell. I heard you clearly. On that day, the telephone had been invented. The words Bell spoke to Watson was the first telephone message ever sent. Bell and Watson continued to work to improve the telephone. The first long-distance, two-way telephone conversation took place later that same year. It was between Boston and Cambridge, Massachusetts, a distance of two miles. In 1877, a telephone company was formed. The first telephone exchange was opened the next year in New Haven, Connecticut. It had eight lines and 21 telephones. From that time, telephone systems grew fast. Two years later, there were over 47,000 telephones in the United States. The telephone spread rapidly, both here and in Europe. Bell lived to see millions of telephones used all over the world. He had the joy of speaking from coast to coast by telephone. He died shortly before telephone service across the ocean was established. His invention brought him wealth and great honors. He was given many medals and honorary degrees. His invention has often been called one of America's greatest gifts to the world. When Alexander Graham Bell died on August 2, 1922, all the telephones in the United States were silent for one minute in memory of a great man. Exercise 3 Hi, remember me? I'm Alice. I just wanted to let you know that I found a great website with information about wedding customs in Japan. If you want me to email you the address, just let me know. Hi, remember me? Hi, remember me? Hi, remember me? Hi, remember me? 
I'm Alice. I'm Alice. I'm Alice. I just wanted to let you know. I just wanted to let you know. I just wanted to let you know that I found a great website with information about wedding customs in Japan. That I found a great website with information about wedding customs in Japan. That I found a great website with information about wedding customs in Japan. If you want me to email you the address, just let me know. If you want me to email you the address, just let me know. If you want me to email you the address, just let me know. Hi, remember me? I'm Alice. I just wanted to let you know that I found a great website with information about wedding customs in Japan. If you want me to email you the address, just let me know. Hi, remember me? I'm Alice. I just wanted to let you know that I found a great website with information about wedding customs in Japan. If you want me to email you the address, just let me know. Exercise 4 Is this seat taken? No. May I sit here? Please do. Are you a new student? Yes, I'm Marty from Korea. I got here only yesterday. I'm Alan, uh, second year in law. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Alan, could you tell me something about the first year student's life here? Okay. You know, the first year student's life can be exciting but terrifying for the first week. Why is it terrifying? Oh, many first year students will feel very homesick for the first week since this is their first time away from home. By the way, do you live on campus? Yes, I live in a hall of residence. That's good. Living in a hall of residence soon helps you to make some new friends. You know, the university always provides accommodation to the first-year students. They may move out into a rented room in their second or third year or share a house with friends. I see. That's reasonable for the first-year students so they don't worry about their accommodation and transportation problems. That's right. During the first week, all the clubs and societies will hold a student's fair, during which they try to persuade new students to join their society. Oh, I heard about that. I expected this kind of fair. I'd like to join some sports clubs so I will have something to do in my spare time. The first-year students are told that it is important for them to come into contact with many opinions and activities during their time at university. The first week, you may be taken to visit the campus. You can see groups of students walking around the huge campus finding their way around in the first week of university. And at weekends, the university may organize some trips to places nearby, so you will be quite busy for the first few weeks. It sounds good. All the activities will keep me busy. Thank you, Alan. You are welcome, and hope you will enjoy your stay here. The first year undergraduates. 
the first year undergraduates. Is this seat taken? Is this seat taken? No. No. May I sit here? May I sit here? Please do. Are you a new student? Please do. Are you a new student? Yes, I'm Marty from Korea. I got here only yesterday. Yes, I'm Marty from Korea. I got here only yesterday. I'm Alan. Uh, second year in law. Nice to meet you. I'm Alan. Uh, second year in law. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Alan, could you tell me something about the first-year student's life here? Nice to meet you, too. Alan, could you tell me something about the first-year student's life here? Okay. You know, the first-year student's life can be exciting but terrifying for the first week. Okay. You know, the first-year student's life can be exciting but terrifying for the first week. Why is it terrifying? Why is it terrifying? Oh, many first-year students will feel very homesick for the first week since this is their first time away from home. Oh, many first-year students will feel very homesick for the first week since this is their first time away from home. By the way, do you live on campus? By the way, do you live on campus? Yes, I live in a hall of residence. Yes, I live in a hall of residence. That's good. Living in a hall of residence soon helps you to make some new friends. That's good. Living in a hall of residence soon helps you to make some new friends. You know, the university always provides accommodation to the first-year students. They may move out into a rented room in their second or third year or share a house with friends. You know, the university always provides accommodation to the first-year students. They may move out into a rented room in their second or third year or share a house with friends. I see. That's reasonable for the first-year students so they don't worry about their accommodation and transportation problems. I see. That's reasonable for the first-year students so they don't worry about their accommodation and transportation problems. That's right. During the first week, all the clubs and societies will hold a student's fair, during which 
They try to persuade new students to join their society. That's right. During the first week, all the clubs and societies will hold a students' fair, during which they try to persuade new students to join their society. Oh, I heard about that. I expected this kind of fair. Oh, I heard about that. I expected this kind of fair. I'd like to join some sports clubs, so I will have something to do in my spare time. I'd like to join some sports clubs, so I will have something to do in my spare time. The first year students are told that it is important for them to come into contact with many opinions and activities. During their time at university, the first-year students are told that it is important for them to come into contact with many opinions and activities during their time at university. The first week, you may be taken to visit the campus. The first week, you may be taken to visit the campus. You can see groups of students walking around the huge campus, finding their way around in the first week of university. You can see groups of students walking around the huge campus, finding their way around. In the first week of university, and at weekends, the university may organize some trips to places nearby, so you will be quite busy for the first few weeks. And at weekends, the university may organize some trips to places nearby. So you will be quite busy for the first few weeks. It sounds good. All the activities will keep me busy. Thank you, Alan. It sounds good. All the activities will keep me busy. Thank you, Alan. You are welcome. And hope you will enjoy your stay here. You are welcome, and hope you will enjoy your stay here. Listen and practice. The first year undergraduates. Is this seat taken? No. May I sit here? Please do. Are you a new student? Yes, I'm Marty from Korea. I got here only yesterday. I'm Alan,、uh, second year in law. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Alan, could you tell me something about the first year student's life here? Okay. You know, the first year student's life can be exciting but terrifying for the first week. Why is it terrifying? Oh, many first-year students will feel very homesick for the first week, since this is their first time away from home. By the way, do you live on campus? Yes, I live in a hall of residence. That's good. Living in a hall of residence soon helps you to make some new friends. You know, the university always provides accommodation to the first-year students. They may move out into a rented room in their second or third year, or share a house with friends. I see, that's reasonable. 
for the first-year students so they don't worry about their accommodation and transportation problems. That's right. During the first week, all the clubs and societies will hold a student's fair, during which they try to persuade new students to join their society. Oh, I heard about that. I expected this kind of fair. I'd like to join some sports clubs so I will have something to do in my spare time. The first-year students are told that it is important for them to come into contact with many opinions and activities during their time at university. The first week, you may be taken to visit the campus. You can see groups of students walking around the huge campus, finding their way around in the first week of university. And at weekends, the university may organize some trips to places nearby, so you will be quite busy for the first few weeks. It sounds good. All the activities will keep me busy. Thank you, Alan. You are welcome, and hope you will enjoy your stay here. Exercise 5 Hi there. I finally made my decision. Sorry you had to wait, but I wanted to be sure I picked the right research topic. As you know, yesterday I talked to Alice about a few possible topics. And then I got online and looked at a few websites. First, I found out what I don't want to do research on. And that's classical music because I already know a lot about that. Well, after looking at a lot of websites, I decided to do research on the history of jazz because I don't know anything about that. Hi there. I finally made my decision. Hi there. I finally made my decision. Hi there. I finally made my decision. Sorry you had to wait. Sorry you had to wait. Sorry you had to wait. But I wanted to be sure I picked the right research topic. But I wanted to be sure I picked the right research topic. But I wanted to be sure I picked the right research topic. As you know, yesterday I talked to Alice about a few possible topics. As you know, Yesterday, I talked to Alice about a few possible topics. As you know, yesterday, I talked to Alice about a few possible topics. And then I got online and looked at a few websites. And then I got online and looked at a few websites. And then I got online and looked at a few websites. First, I found out what I don't want to do research on.
first, I found out what I don't want to do research on. First, I found out what I don't want to do research on. And that's classical music. And that's classical music. And that's classical music. Because I already know a lot about that. Because I already know a lot about that. Because I already know a lot about that. Well, after looking at a lot of websites, Well, after looking at a lot of websites, Well, after looking at a lot of websites, I decided to do research on the history of jazz. I decided to do research on the history of jazz. I decided to do research on the history of jazz. Because I don't know anything about that. Because I don't know anything about that. Because I don't know anything about that. Hi there. I finally made my decision. Sorry you had to wait, but I wanted to be sure I picked the right research topic. As you know, yesterday I talked to Alice about a few possible topics. And then I got online and looked at a few websites. First, I found out what I don't want to do research on. And that's classical music, because I already know a lot about that. Well, after looking at a lot of websites, I decided to do research on the history of jazz because I don't know anything about that. Hi there. I finally made my decision. Sorry you had to wait, but I wanted to be sure I picked the right research topic. As you know, yesterday I talked to Alice about a few possible topics. And then I got online and looked at a few websites. First, I found out what I don't want to do research on. And that's classical music, because I already know a lot about that. Well, after looking at a lot of websites, I decided to do research on the history of jazz, because I don't know anything about that. Exercise 6. The Dean's Speech. Good morning, students. As many of you have already heard, tuition fees will be going up to $3,600 per term, starting in September 2001. I felt I should explain to you why the fees are increasing. The primary reason is, of course, that expenses have increased, including faculties and staff salaries. Our operating expenses have also increased in the past year. As we try to maintain a high level of service to our international students, we have added new staff in the last year to meet the growing needs, including a manager of admissions. We have also expanded our homestay staff to improve our homestay services. Unfortunately, when expenses increase, the costs have to be passed on to the student. 
This is the first increase in fees since 1998, however, and we are trying to keep the fees as reasonable as possible. To compare our fees with other institutions in the province, the University College of the Caribou is raising its fees to $3,800 per semester starting in September 2001. Programs at UBC start at $13,830 per year. At many institutions, the tuition fees for academic courses in the third and fourth year level are higher than those for the first two years are because the costs to run the courses are higher. We have decided not to differentiate the fees, but to balance the costs by charging the same tuition for all four years. I would like to tell you that we value your opinion and want to make sure that you are satisfied as a student at the college. If any of you would like to meet with me to discuss the fees or any other matter, you are welcome to visit me in my office in Building 359. Please phone 741-2795 for an appointment. Good morning, students. Good morning, students. As many of you have already heard, tuition fees will be going up to $3,600 per term, starting in September 2001. As many of you have already heard, tuition fees will be going up to $3,600 per term, starting in September 2001. I felt I should explain to you why the fees are increasing. I felt I should explain to you why the fees are increasing. The primary reason is, of course, that expenses have increased, including faculties and staff salaries. The primary reason is, of course, that expenses have increased, including faculties and staff salaries. Our operating expenses have also increased in the past year. Our operating expenses have also increased in the past year. As we try to maintain a high level of service to our international students, as we try to maintain a high level of service to our international students, We have added new staff in the last year to meet the growing needs, including a manager of admissions. We have added new staff in the last year to meet the growing needs, including a manager of admissions. We have also expanded our homestay staff to improve our homestay services. We have also expanded our homestay staff to improve our homestay services.
Unfortunately, when expenses increase, the costs have to be passed on to the student. Unfortunately, when expenses increase, the costs have to be passed on to the student. This is the first increase in fees since 1998. This is the first increase in fees since 1998. However, and we are trying to keep the fees as reasonable as possible. However, and we are trying to keep the fees as reasonable as possible. To compare our fees with other institutions in the province, To compare our fees with other institutions in the province, the University College of the Caribou is raising its fees to $3,800 per semester starting in September 2001. The University College of the Caribou is raising its fees to $3,800 per semester starting in September 2001. Programs at UBC start at $13,830 per year. Programs at UBC start at $13,830 per year. At many institutions, the tuition fees for academic courses in the third and fourth year level are higher than those for the first two years are because the costs to run the courses are higher. At many institutions, the tuition fees for academic courses in the third and fourth year level are higher than those for the first two years are because the costs to run the courses are higher. We have decided not to differentiate the fees. We have decided not to differentiate the fees. but to balance the costs by charging the same tuition for all four years. But to balance the costs by charging the same tuition for all four years. I would like to tell you that we value your opinion and want to make sure that you are satisfied as a student at the college. I would like to tell you that we value your opinion 
and want to make sure that you are satisfied as a student at the college. If any of you would like to meet with me to discuss the fees or any other matter, If any of you would like to meet with me to discuss the fees or any other matter, you are welcome to visit me in my office in Building 359. You are welcome to visit me in my office in Building 359. Please phone 741-2795 for an appointment. Please phone 741-2795 for an appointment. Listen and practice. The Dean's Speech Good morning, students. As many of you have already heard, tuition fees will be going up to $3,600 per term, starting in September 2001. I felt I should explain to you why the fees are increasing. The primary reason is, of course, that expenses have increased, including faculties and staff salaries. Our operating expenses have also increased in the past year. As we try to maintain a high level of service to our international students, we have added new staff in the last year to meet the growing needs, including a manager of admissions. We have also expanded our homestay staff to improve our homestay services. Unfortunately, when expenses increase, the costs have to be passed on to the student. This is the first increase in fees since 1998, however, and we are trying to keep the fees as reasonable as possible. To compare our fees with other institutions in the province, the University College of the Caribou is raising its fees to $3,800 per semester starting in September 2001. Programs at UBC start at $13,830 per year. At many institutions, the tuition fees for academic courses in the third and fourth year level are higher than those for the first two years are because the costs to run the courses are higher. We have decided not to differentiate the fees, but to balance the costs by charging the same tuition for all four years. I would like to tell you that we value your opinion and want to make sure that you are satisfied as a student at the college. If any of you would like to meet with me to discuss the fees or any other matter, you are welcome to visit me in my office in Building 359. Please phone 741-2795 for an appointment. <laughs>